Hey loves, Tomiwa here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of my microblading journey. How I took my brows from this natural state to this feathery, you know, natural looking amazing brows, right? In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of getting it done. I'm going to show you my aftercare. I'm going to show you what it looks like two weeks after. If you know me, you know I'm a super naturalista, so I made sure I did extensive research on who was going to give me the most natural brows. I ended up coming to Flawless Faces by Jane, and the first thing she did was she put numbing cream on my brows and covered that with cling film for about 45 minutes. This is because the process of microblading, you're pretty much making incisions with pigments in your brows right so that would hurt if you don't use numbing cream after the 45 minutes she then proceeds to take the numbing cream out and then draw along the natural shape of my brows bear in mind micro breathing lasts typically for about two years so you want to be sure that <laughs> you know you're stuck with brows that are your natural shape of brows next up she uses a blade to shape off the excess hair outside of you know the brow that she had drawn and then she proceeds to you know draw lines following the natural way brows grow because brows don't grow on a straight in one direction from start to finish this is because she wants the output to be super natural and follow along the strokes of your natural brows next we're trying to get the color this part was super important to me because i've seen a lot of micro braiding brows and the brown pigments don't match their natural skin color so she had to mix like two different pigments and try it out to ensure that we get the exact color of my brows so they look as natural as possible which i really really appreciated haven't gotten the right color, it's time to introduce the pigment to my brows, making use of this tiny blade with which she uses to make pigmented strokes following the natural shape of my brows. Once she's done with one brow, she cleans the area off and then she shapes every excess hair around the shape of the brow so she gets the actual shape that she wants. Next up, she fills up the brow that she has just walked on with pigment and leaves that on for a while while she goes to make pigmented strokes on the other brows. Bear in mind that even though we use numbing cream, at some point I began to feel like tiny prickly pains, which I guess is normal, is nothing to be scared of. Once she's done with the other brows and she has put pigment on that as well, she cleans off the pigment from the first brows checks it properly checks that the strokes are adequate and she if she needs to fill in more she goes in again and fills in extra strokes right she did that i don't think i captured it but she did that once she's completely satisfied with the strokes she cleans off the pigment and the brows are good to go right um before i go she would apply vitamin a and d ointment which she would give me as a follow-up this is because you have just made tiny cuts in your brows so you want them to heal properly and you want to be sure that they are well taken care of once she's done applying the ointment on one brow she goes ahead to repeat the process on the other brow and this is what my brows look like at the end they are amazing i love the shape they are feathery lights they look so natural and i'm so pleased that i went to flawless faces by jane to get this done because if I'm going to be honest, this is the most natural I've seen microblading look in Lagos. Um, she gave me vitamin A and D ointment as an aftercare, which I'm supposed to apply for seven days, morning and evening. So I'm just going to show you what my brows look like the day after. It had gotten considerably darker and it would get darker over the next couple of days because it will scab off to reveal natural looking lighter brows. So it's nothing to worry about. It's day two. This is what my brows look like. They're even darker so the instruction was for water to not touch my brows so we're going to try and figure this out i failed on day one you know but day two this is what i do i just wet around my face wet around my forehead with a little bit of water and then <laughs> i go in with um my soap so let's do a dry wash we're going to try again today to not let water touch my brows i failed on day one look at day two and hopefully we make it right so i grab my wet towel or just wet the edge of a big towel and clean <sighs> it 
make sure to avoid my brows. Oof. Probably gonna have to do this a couple of times just to be sure that my face is clean. Ooh, shit, I just touched my brows. Shit, that hurt. Now I was given this vitamin A and D ointment. This is supposed to help with the healing of your brows and I'm supposed to use it with the cotton bud for seven days, morning and night, or on day two, so let's apply it. So this is about the size that I am using and I'm gonna try and put that or share that between my two brows. Now we're gonna go this way, oopsie come back to you we're gonna go that way yeah I'm just gonna blend that in okay and I noticed that um, it lifted there's a little bit of coloring on the q-tips so that means some color just a tiny bit of color lifted yeah but nothing to be worried about this is after using the q-tips on my brows yeah and I also guess I'm supposed to use this brush to um, brush it up I may be um, worried about using it on day two because I don't want anything to irritate the brows even though they're actually very soft and I don't think that they'll cause any issues but um, I think I'll wait till like day four or day three before I use this on my brows yeah for now we're good hey loves it's day four or is it wait let me calculate I did it on Wednesday so Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday yeah it's day four <laughs> yeah and i just thought to do a brow check in um i can see that the brows are beginning to scab right there i hope that the scabs don't fall off with the pigment um but yeah this is brow update day four i'm just gonna apply the ointment on my brows like so like that hold on what's this Oh, the scabs have fallen. One of the scabs has fallen. Can you see? The rest of the brows seem decent. I wonder where that scab fell from. It's like something in this corner. Yeah, another one. That's another one there that just pulled out. Wow. Okay. Anywho, I know in my head I thought I was going to do daily check-ins up until at least day 7. But this is two weeks after day 14. And this is what my brows look like. In that time, my brows have since stopped scabbing. They stopped hurting when you touch them from like day four. Um, they have healed very nicely, except for one corner at the top on my left brow. I don't know if you see that. I feel like a pigment fell off there, but otherwise my brows look amazing. They look very natural. Like. Unless I tell you I had my brows done, you probably would not know that they were done. And this was the output I really loved. I hope you enjoyed this video. Au revoir.